And the last backstage fight alter, or backstage altercation I'll ask you about because you're probably very f uh, familiar with Piper is the uh, one that happened between Kevin Nash and Roddy Piper backstage. They both told very different versions of the altercation, but I'm wondering if you have the more I don't. I wasn't there. I will tell you that I spent uh, six weeks in a tour bus with Roddy Piper. I was the manager of his book tour uh, in 2003. So I got to know Roddy real well. I heard his side of the story real well. And I got to hang out a lot and get really friendly with Kevin Nash in TNA. And I heard his side of the story. And unfortunately, unlike the Vader story, I, I, I wasn't in there, so I don't know. They certainly have two different stories. Uh, I, I usually say when there's two different stories, usually the truth meets somewhere in the middle. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I got the honor of being uh, Roddy Piper's tour manager. We went all around the country in Billy Ray Cyrus's uh, uh, tour bus. So uh, that was interesting. What's your uh, favorite story about Roddy Piper from that uh, six weeks you spent with him? Which must have been quite something. Yeah, it was quite something. Um, we were driving into, uh, we were coming into Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, before it was the morning of the, we're getting in the morning of the Ohio State uh, Michigan game. I don't know if you're from Canada, but Ohio State Michigan is a huge rivalry. So they, they had, um, so I got a call from somebody and said, we're having a, uh, a uh, tailgate party at eight in the morning at a bar. Could Roddy stop by and say some words to psych up the Ohio fans? So I'm thinking, a tailgate party at 8 in the morning, you know, maybe there'll be 100, 200 people there, maybe eating breakfast. Or, I, I couldn't understand, but I booked, I said, Roddy, you want to do it? He goes, sure, because there are going to be television cameras there. That was the key. So we get to this bar, and literally at 7 in the morning, there were 6,000 drunk fans at 7 in the morning packing this bar the day of that game. I've never seen so many drunk people at 6 in the morning in my life. And Roddy got out and gave this, you know, the chew bubble gum thing and gave this awesome speech and the crowd went crazy and we had a blast doing that. Uh, but that was that, that was a memory because I just you never think you're going to pull up to a bar at seven in the morning and there's going to be thousands and thousands of trash people that are there. But uh, I guess that now that I uh, now my son went to college in not Ohio State, but a small D3 school right down the road. And I guess that's their uh, that's their thing they do. And what's he like off camera as a real person? Roddy, when he pays you, when Roddy, when you're working for Roddy, Roddy wants the uh, wants you to do your job. Uh, but Roddy is was the was one of the kindest people that you'd ever meet. Uh, you know, he's always you know, hey, how you doing? You know, give you a hug, put his arm around you. You know, how's the family? Uh, very sweet personality. But when it comes to business, he doesn't mess around. If he had, if he didn't like something I was doing, he didn't he didn't hesitate to let me know he wasn't happy. Uh, so, you know, it, as a businessman, he was a, he was a, he was a, you know, he made you work hard. As a human being, he was a, a, a terrific guy.